Oye, el glory began. Das Erreichen der göttlichen Gegenwart, wie schafft man das? Oh, you believers, how do you manage to reach the divine presence? Ohne Zweifel, nur durch Dienerschaft. Without any doubt, only by servanthood. Was heißt Dienerschaft? What does it mean, servanthood? Ich stehe dir zur Verfügung. I am at your disposition. Oh, my Lord. Oh, my Lord. Ich stehe dir zur Verfügung. Wünsche, ich erfülle. Befehle, ich gehorche. I am at your disposition, my Lord. You ask for it, I'll do it for you. You order, I obey. Warum verlangt der Herr das von uns? Why does the Lord ask this from us? Hat er so etwas nötig? Is he in need of our Lord service? Hat er dich, Hat oh, keine Scheiße. Braucht er dich? Does he need you? Orhan? Ich denke schon. <lacht> well, I do think so. Hat er dich, shut up. Du denke lieber, lieber nicht, lieber nicht mache. Better don't think, just do it. Er braucht keinen von uns. He er braucht in, keine Dienerschaft von niemandem. He is not in need of any of us. Warum nicht? He does not need servanthood from anyone. Weil Why? er es nicht braucht. Because he doesn't need it. Weil er es es zahmet. Was bedeutet zahmet zu sein? Genügend für sich selbst allein, oder? Sich selbst genügend, Be ausreichend. Because braucht niemand anderen. Because he is our summit. What does this mean, our summit? Wer niemand anderen braucht, <lacht> wer niemand anderen braucht, äh, wie soll äh, so einer bedürftig sein, Dienerschaft des anderen? If you don't need anyone else, why would you need someone else's servant? Would. Hast du dir jemals so eine Frage gestellt? Eckmal Fande. Did you ever ask yourself a question like that? Er braucht unsere Dienerschaft nicht. Also wer braucht dann die Dienerschaft? He doesn't need our servanthood. So if he doesn't, who is in need of our servanthood? Das ist then? für uns. Nicht er Not he is in need of our servanthood. We need our servanthood towards him. Because only that makes us be alive and continue existing. Our existence, the basis of our existence, the energy of existence to exist, is our servanthood. The more we fulfill our servanthood, how long is a battery useful? How long is a battery valuable? As, it, as long as the battery is running. As long as the battery has power. So what does this power do in this battery? It emits, it gives away the power. How does it give the power away? By serving with the energy it has. The energy the battery contains inside, the battery tries to be useful, to be useful for something. And that is its servanthood. As long as the fridge or the washing machine is running, it has a value. The fridge is running, it is valuable. As long as the machine is running, it has a value. When does it stop having a value? When the machine is broken, when it doesn't want 
kaputt, broken, forget about it. It doesn't want to continue. That's the better expression, the spiritual way to express things. The machine doesn't want to work anymore, Sheikh. Uh -huh. The washing machine doesn't work anymore. It doesn't work anymore. The washing machine doesn't work anymore. Uh -huh. The man over there also is not working anymore. Doesn't, doesn't want anymore. Doesn't want to be, doesn't want to work anymore is one thing can't anymore is another thing. If man is dead, he can't anymore. That's true. As long as man is alive but doesn't do anything, means he doesn't want anymore. So, Sheikh is pretty hard on this issue to explain this clearly. And now we understand the difference. You can't anymore and you don't want anymore. As long as man is alive, he is not allowed to say, I can't anymore. Because then, that means he has to be dead. And that, it means I don't want anymore. If it does not run anymore, but it is not dead, it means I don't want anymore. Man can cheat himself with these expressions. I can't anymore, it's enough but he can't cheat the heaven, not divine representatives. We can cheat ourselves, but we can't cheat someone who is a wise person, because he makes an x-ray from us right away to know what is going on inside of us. When, when your body is broken and sick, you go to the doctor. He makes an x-ray from you, he makes a CT to figure out what's wrong with you, to see what's wrong with you. The friends of the Lord do this just by looking at you. Just with one look at you, he knows what's going on, because that means what you don't know about yourself, he knows about you. With his x-ray eyes, he knows about you better than you do yourself. Our servanthood, as long as we don't say anything, as, as long as we don't say we don't want anymore, is a man like this battery. It's not up to the battery to say, I will continue. The battery is limited. The mineral world is limited. The animal kingdom is limited. Man is not limited. If man wants, he can continue non-stop because man has a capacity a secret a secret parallel universe inside himself man has many many different components inside him the animal kingdom is parallel inside him mineral world the world of plants, the world of angels is also in him. Don't look anywhere else. It is inside you. It's because you're looking inside yourself, you can't find it. The world of angels, if you can manage to get inside this world, 
with your intention, with your sincerity, if you can get inside there, everything is opening up for you, depending on your intention, on your efforts. The world of angels, you have to strive for it, follow rules and restrictions, and you have to be sincere. With all the other worlds, the mineral world, animal kingdom, the plant, the world of the plants, they open up for you voluntarily. You don't have to do much for it. For it. They open and they call you in. Come inside. Identify yourself with us. Be an animal. Be a plant. Be a mineral. There is no Schengen cooperation. You can travel freely without using a passport. And in this world, Hajj Sebastian, you can enter these worlds without a problem. You will be attracted by these worlds. Come, be one of us. The animal side, the wild side, the desires. But the world of the angels is very, very restricted and regulated. You have to follow all conditions. You have to fulfill all conditions, follow all the rules. Ekmel, have you ever heard something like that? That's the reason for you to be here, to hear something which you have never heard before. This is hard to grasp. The world of angels, it says, stop. In my world, not as dirty as you are. Not so dirty. Not so cheap. You are not meant to be cheap, but you have to be willingly. You have to say, yes, I want. Not cheap, but wanting. And who can do this, Hajirov? He can, he will never think that he, that there is something he can't do. Because he always wants to do it. He He will trust always, and if he does not trust his own capacity, he will trust the capacity of the Lord, who can do everything. O oh Lord, when you are with me, the one who can do everything, that means that I should be able to do everything as well, with your support. Then, if how is it possible that you can do it, but I, as your friend and servant, can't do it? If you can do it, then with your permission I can do it too. That is a thing. And in the world of the angels you can do it to work tirelessly. What is so difficult, Jay? No, you make it difficult for yourself. Because you say it's difficult. Say, never say it's difficult or it's not doable. It's not doable. Is that German even? Then take the force to your side, at your side and make it possible. Make it doable. The force helps you to make it doable. This is say Allah be with me or be with my friends. Wakunu ma sadiqin, be with the ones who are sincere. Take the power with you all the time, wherever you go. 
Where is this power? It is with the ones who are powerful. Who are the ones who are powerful? Those are the friends of the Lord. And they are helping you. They pull you from the front, they push you from the back, and if nothing else helps, then they kick your ass and you fly. Oh, I can fly, you say. See, and you thought you can't fly. And even if it is by a kick in the butt, uh, you will fly, and you will fly for free. What do you think how the people managed to go to the paradise, Akmal Effendi? By their own efforts? No way. Only prophets and saints, maybe it's possible that, is, that they can manage through their own effort to reach paradise, only by the mercy of the Lord. No prophet enters paradise without the support of the Lord. Not even the prophets can do that. So how are the common, the ordinary people manage to enter paradise? The prophets can reach paradise only by mercy of the Lord, only through the relationship, to the close relationship to the Lord. How about us? And only, all of us will only manage to go to paradise through a kick in the butt of the prophets and saints. Man, it hurts. Yeah, but you will feel better afterwards. It has to hurt a bit in the beginning. The launch pad for the rocket, the so the launch pad, that's what it is. And then you fly. So you will have a bit of a burning sensation behind you because I make fire under your bum and then you can fly towards paradise I'm telling all of this only because of you Dariush our servanthood our servanthood is our energy the more if you are not a servant, that is why the people outside there, 99% are in a void, in an emptiness. That's why there's all this aggression, depression, epilepsy, all these psycholo psychological diseases. It's because their batteries are empty. And the battery can only be charged when you're striving, when you make an effort. So it's like a generator. You have to activate your generator. You have a generator inside of you. And the more you activate your generator, the more you are charging yourself. You are recharging yourself. Right, Haji Osman? Do you know about these things? Oh, just a little bit, Sheikh. And you're working. The more you're working, the more you're charging your batteries. The more you're making an effort. Or you are directly with a saint and you're into his pluck hole and you get automatically his energy. And that is with the saints and with the prophets the case. They are always in the world of the angels and they never get tired. So they don't even have to eat. If they don't have to show it, they don't have to eat, they don't have to drink. Our Grand Sheikh, he was for six months with his Sheikh in Medina, in a retreat, on a retreat. And during this retreat, the halvet, when you eat, you get only a piece of dry bread and 50 gram of soup. Only water and lentils. That's it. And that's the daily 
portion of food plus you have, you have to fast six for six months for six months my grand sheikh did not eat anything he did not drink anything he gave everything to me and he did not sleep he only prayed that's what he told me why how could he manage to do that because inside himself he was not in the mineral world or in the animal world but he was in the world of the angels instead with the minerals with the plants with the animal world you will always have needs but when you're in the angel world you don't have this who you allow to influence yourself in which world you reside inside of you then you're in need or in no need of nothing and the angels are only in need of their creator the angels are directly connected to their creator food they don't need their energy they get directly from the Lord when you're in the world of the angels Haji Sebastian don't fall asleep this is so boring for you you get out of the battery and you have to plug into the plug hole the battery is limited one hour five hours twenty hours and you're you're asleep but when you're in the plug hole you can continuously work and that's why the saints when they are not in front of the people to avoid the people to 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 worship them they show themselves with human needs but they don't need it in reality they don't need to eat they don't need to drink they don't need to sleep to be a true human being means you start with the mineral world and then you go to the plant world and then to the animal world and then you're in the world of the human being but we are never really there in Arabic we are called Haiwan and Natiq Haiwan and Natiq what does it mean? it means the speaking animal <laughs> a talking animal an animal which can speak like us an animal a two-legged animal with the face of a human being and with human language but in the state of an animal the Aulia say the ordinary people in the literature in the language of saints is called a speaking animal not like Darwin who says we are descendants from the monkeys no don't confuse that a monkey is a monkey a man is a man but the true state of human being we will only reach this if we manage to leave the world of animals of minerals of plants but we are we are on these levels but we are none of these through of these three we are all part of them no they are all part of us we have to understand this correctly the plant world the mineral world the animal world only exists because we do exist so does the angel world uh -huh. so the angels only exist because we exist that means who are we if even the world of angels only exists because we do exist who are we ask this question We are in San Al Kamil, the true, the complete human being. And who is he? He is the secret of the Lord. The Lula Fil Art, the shadow of the Lord on the world. Not really on the world, it's the shadow of God in the existence. 
or we go even higher up with the explanation. It's a special day today, it's Juma. The human being is the existence or after existence of the Lord, the shadow existence of the Lord. If man doesn't exist, there is no universe. Then there is only the Lord. Because human man exists, everything except the Lord also exists. If we take away the human being, then there is no existence, there is only who, nothing, nothing else. I, My plan was to talk about something else, but we are brought here from above. And you decrease your value, you throw your value away. You throw away your value. You destroy your own value. You will be like that animal. Uh -huh. By living like an animal. Uh -huh. No. Do not serve your animal. Try to get out of this animal kingdom of the plant world, of the world of the minerals and try to get into the world of the angels but then you have to transcend that and have to leave the angel world because that will be a problem for you later on as well you have to get out of that angel world as well why? because and then only then you can stand directly in front of him your creator and you his creation there is no other creator, there is no other cre uh, creation. Lawlak, lawlak, la ma khalak talaflak. I always have to make an effort to speak Arabic. So this he understood right away. But I get constipated if I have to talk like this and then I have a constipated face. I always have. Uh, to the point where I have made you understand I have constipation. It's not easy to make myself understood. Oh you believers, oh people, we are in the Jummah Khutbah. It's not an ordinary sohbet. They are reminding me of this uh, to this point, not further. Is it possible to go any further? We al already reached the Creator. There is nothing behind the Creator. Try to get into the world of the angels, to look into the world of the angels, and then you will never even think of saying, I can't, I am tired. That will be foreign language for you. Because only when you're operating, to operate yourself means you're in servanthood. The battery is also in servanthood. Everything is serving. Neutron, proton, electron, everything is serving. When one of it would make a break, take a break, we would be gone. If just one atom of you will make take a break, you will be gone. That's a domino effect. It's a domino effect. If only one atom would say, I stop working, I stop serving, I protest, I rebel against you, I will stop, I can't anymore, then you will vanish from existence. How can you dare to say to your Lord, I don't want any more, I'm a weak one. It is a lie. I'm a weak one. To say I'm a weak one means I'm a liar, because it means I don't want any more. 
but I don't want to rebel against you, and that's why I'm saying I'm weak. Mercy. Uh, shoot me. Be merciful, shoot me. As you like, says the Lord. A, lo a horse that doesn't want to continue running has to be shot. But we don't want this. A horseman never gives up his horse. Only when he sees it is definitely not able to move anymore. But if the horse doesn't want and can't anymore, then that means it really can't. Because a horse doesn't pretend. And then it gets, it gets shot out of mercy. But the horseman, Akmal Effendi, the horseman has to continue with or without you. That's why you should never say, I can't anymore. Because the, the horseman has to continue. May Allah give us good guidance and accept us to be of his servants. And that is also a thing, a matter, that he accepts us. And this is an honor. The angels, Ekman Effendi said when he created us, the Lord, why? Why? The angels who never rebelled, they could not understand. And they are made out of understanding. An angel is made out of light and out of logic, pure logic. And this mind started to ask, why? This mind could not understand. Why? For them, they had even, even had the right to ask why, because they couldn't understand how is it possible that Allah creates a servant for himself while we are already here. The angels are already there, serving him without questioning him. So why is the other one, man, necessary to be created? Plus they could see what stupid things man was going to do cheat each other, kill each other, hurt each other, protest against the Lord. The angels know all this, knew all this. They saw it on the hidden screen. And this man should become king of creation. Although the angels are already there doing everything without complaining for their Lord. Because angels are mind, logic, they could not understand this. They had to ask, why? Allah didn't make the angels his representative. He made us his representative. What an honor. Uh, try to grab hold of this honor and let never go of this. Because this rope of honor of the Lord is like a horse. The slowest sign of weakness that you are weak, they throw you off and you don't have any honor left. The slightest bit of not paying attention, the horse, even if it's a tamed horse, when an idiot is riding it, who never rode a horse and he doesn't know the technique how to ride a horse, the horse will throw him off, right? A horse has a sense for this and the rope of honor, this rope of honor has the same sensibility. If you're not seriously striving, if you don't take this honor seriously, boom, it throws you away. So you pay attention.